Back on Sold Out Sports Talk on AFR Talk. Of course, coming up, I'll have my Roman on NFL and college football picks coming up at the end of the week. We'll get you set up for your second half of your sports week. Got a great friend coming in with me. Um, told you a little bit about her in the first segment. Local product from North Carolina, played at Southwest Edgecombe High School, was one of the more highly decorated basketball players to come out of the state of North Carolina at that time and uh, went to NC State where she played for the great K. Yow and, uh, of course, spent her time number one pick, 21st overall, the Houston Comets in 2001 and uh, had a good career in the WNBA with the Charlotte Sting, Minnesota Lynx. And uh, what I love about her is she invested her life back into the place she cares about, into young people. She's been a school teacher. She's got her own program, uh, nonprofit organization, It's Doable, which we'll talk about. And uh, she coming in this week, she'll be talking about something really cool that they're going to be doing for Kay Yao and Cancer in Fayetteville, a really cool basketball jamboree she's going to tell us all about. Tanisha Lewis. Tanisha, how are you? I'm great, Roman. Thanks for having me. You're playing hurt. I love it. You got a cold. You're coming in here. You're feeling. You're feeling a little low. So we got to. You know, I got to say something about Tanisha. Tanisha does not lack energy. Believe it. I'm telling you, this girl. This girl. She may sound a little bit on the low side because she's got a head cold, but she's sucking it up and coming in here today to get it done. Now, what I like about what this new cancer jamboree that you're doing is, it's uh, the name of it is. And I love the poster. Is uh, first annual cancer sucks jamboree. Absolutely. Um... You know, unfortunately, we've all been touched by cancer, and um, uh, I think it's just a great opportunity for us as a community to pull together and rally behind those that are fighting cancer, those who have lost someone to cancer. We really want to celebrate them on that day. I know it says uh, a jamboree in the basketball part, but the biggest part is that for a day, we get to carry the burden of cancer for somebody else and really support those people that are fighting for their lives right now. Now, Tanisha... We know all about K. Yow in this area of the country, but some people might not know about K. Yow, and you had an opportunity to play for one of the great college basketball coaches of all time. Uh, tell us w- what it was like playing for K. Yow and what was special about her, not just as a basketball coach, but as a person. Well, I mean, I'm from North Carolina, so everybody in my whole house grew up UNC Chapel Hill fan. So for me to go to NC State, you know, it absolutely had to be something remarkable about Coach K. Yow. And, um, when I met her, the thing that, that the thing that changed everything was that she sent a letter to me that said that the only reason that she is here today was because of her faith, and that put her on the top of the list. So, uh, playing for her, you learn that this life is not about you; that it's much bigger than you. And the gift of playing basketball and the platforms that God gives you is all about giving back to someone else who might not have the same opportunity that you have. So playing for her, I mean, I mean, I, I just think that this is a product of what she put in me, you know. So you know, she's just a remarkable, just a remarkable person, an outstanding coach. But just even her as a person is is un, it just it, it can't be measured. It can't be measured. Tanisha Lewis with us, former NC State WNBA player, and um, Tanisha. One of the things that was great about Kay Yao is is even before she. Uh, contracted cancer she was a big part of the jimmy v um mm-hmm. you know jimmy valvano the nc state basketball coach and of course coach k and she was part of that board and she raised a lot of money and a lot of awareness and supported greatly the v foundation and um it just amazes me over the years of being around that group of people and the whole jimmy v fight that the one thing they always talk about is is that at some point in your life you're going to come across somebody or, or it may happen to you where cancer becomes a reality and uh, sadly, in her case, that happened to her, uh, but obviously she didn't let that get her down, and she ended up, uh, her life ended up and continues to be a beacon for the cancer drive and, and also for people all over the country. Well, I, I'm like this. Coach Yao, there's no way that you could have come in contact with Coach Yao and not be changed. And that's sort of kind of the same mantra I want to live by, that if you you met me and, you, and something in your life hopefully has been sparked um, that you felt like, that you could do anything, that you could be anything. Um, and that's that's what Coach Yao instilled in all of our players. And I, even towards the end of uh, her battle with cancer, I remember I was having a down day and I, I called her. But I was just calling to encourage her. Like, how you doing, Coach Yao? And she's like, not too well today, but it's going to be all right. 
And by the end of the conversation, she is encouraging me in the middle of her battle. And I just have the utmost respect for anyone that can do that. Tanisha Lewis right here on Sold Out Sports Talk on AFR Talk. And, uh, Tanisha, let's talk about, uh, obviously, just from being around you, I know that, that she had a great uh, resolve in your life and really uh, in- inspired you to some great things. And um, you gave back by be- being a school teacher in Robeson County, and that's how I got a chance to meet you. Uh, we were at a prison function uh, for, a, for a, a prison nearby where you spoke and I saw you speak. And um, you also have your program, It's Doable, and you've really focused on your program in terms of reaching kids through the game of basketball and also through your great faith in Christ. And so tell me about your organization and about uh, why you felt it was so important to start it and, and your love for kids. Well, um, I am completely indebted to young people. You know, when I was going through a tough time in my life, God sent young people to encourage me. So I feel like, you know, I have to give back to them because they're the reason why I am here. Uh, my brother and I started It's Doable back in 2003. And if right now, uh, this summer, we were in Durham, Raleigh, Durham area. Uh, we feed uh, kids in lower income areas during the summer when they're out of school that they may not be able to get a meal because when they, most of some, unfortunately, the only meal some kids get is when they go to school. So when they're out for the summer, you know, we would provide meals in Raleigh and Durham area. Uh, we gave about 2,500 book bags back, um, book bags this year so that kids can um, have supplies to go back to school. Uh, my parents have always instilled in my brother and I that, you know, uh, to, to whom much is given, much is required. And um, I just, I don't know how to be any other way. You know, um, anytime that I can do anything in my power for someone else, um, that's just who I am. Tanisha Lewis, former NC State Wolfpack. And, uh, of course, my dad went to the Wolfpack. My son graduated from the Wolfpack. And for all those uh, Carolina fans out there, uh, one of the th- one of the things that uh, you didn't say when you came in here is even though you didn't go to Carolina, you did inflict quite a bit of suffering on the basketball court to Carolina, didn't you? Yes, we beat them plenty of times <laughs> when I was there. So just want to put that out there. <laughs> I'm really, hey, I don't want to – we have a lot of North Carolina fans and we have a lot of North Carolina stations here. I'm not – Carolina Tar Heels are fine. We've got a state person. Yeah, I have been like equal. That's right. I have been equal opportunity. We have, we, yeah. you know, we've, we have had, we have, you know, we had plenty of Carolina people on the show. So, I just wanted to make it clear that you filled it up pretty good against Carolina. Yeah, some of my best friends actually, uh, Ivy Ladder, great, great, great person. Coach Hassel, um, talk to her every time I see her. Uh, Charlotte, Charlotte Smith, who played with me at the Charlotte Stank, Coach Ela. I mean, it's great people. Sylvia Crawley, I just got off the phone with her. She's trying to come down to the to the turn to the Jamory also. So, you know, I don't have any problems with uh, the Carolina Blues, just only when we're playing against each other. <laughs> Well, one of the things I enjoy about your presentation with young people is, is that you use humor because you've got a great story to tell. And, of course, your basketball ability, you know, if you ever get a chance to see this, and, of course, uh, let me just say it again, if you want to join it and see her in action, uh, you need to go to the first annual Cancer Sucks Janu- Jamboree, and all the proceeds are going to go to the KEL uh, Foundation to, to fight cancer. It's going to be on November 15th at Freedom Court Sportplex in Fayetteville, and we do have stations that hear us there. Uh, so please go out. If they want more information about this, what do they do, Tanisha? They can find me on Facebook or trlbasketballacademy.com. Um, but the easiest way is probably Facebook. Just look for me, Tanisha R. Lewis, and um, all the information will be on my Facebook page. And the spelling on that, T-Y-N-E-S-H-A-R Lewis, L-E-W-I-S, for her Facebook page. She's got all that information. She also has this, her It's Doable uh, Foundation on there, all the information about that as well. So go to her Facebook page at Tanisha R. Lewis to check all that out. And I suppose that you guys need plenty of support, right? Absolutely. I mean, we want to do some great things for anyone that's fighting cancer. We, we got uh, gift bags. We have some um, health care professionals that will be there, um, nutritionists. Just any information that any that like, someone who's fighting cancer uh, would need that are getting you know, that's cancer free. Um, those who have lost loved ones, we just want to be a support system to those people. Um, I lost my best friend one year ago today to leukemia, and it was rough. It, it, it's still rough, and I think that you know we always need. Maybe it's just a letter. We want to get their address. You know, we want to get their email. 
that during the year, just a random email from us saying that we're praying for you, that we're thinking about you, can encourage them to keep fighting, to keep pushing through, that it'll get better. Well, Tanisha, what does it mean to you, uh, not only just when you play basketball, but of course you talked about Kay Yao and you talked about her faith base, faith, family, and, and basketball. Um, when, when I say faith, family, and basketball, how does that impact your life today and, and, and your philosophy in terms of helping others? Well, my mom and dad did a great job of raising my brother and I in church. And then so that was instilled in me from a very young age. And then to have your own personal relationship with Christ, it sort of kind of changes how you look at the world. You're not always trying to take something from the world. You're trying to give back to be an asset. Um, when I met Coach Al, she, I felt that she stood for those things and continued to um, to um, to instill those things, things in me along the way. Um, I, I'm just family, faith, family. And they're, the, they're one of the they're the most important things in my life. So, so, and I know how it has changed my life. And I want to make sure that any kid or any young person or anyone else out there that if you'll place God first, um, that he'll direct your path and things will work out. Tanisha Lewis, NC State, WNBA, and uh, you can find her. Uh, please, please support uh, her her event, go to Tanisha R. Lewis, and it's for Kay Yow, the former great Hall of Fame basketball coach at NC State, first annual Cancer Sucks Jamboree, and that's going to be its uh, Freedom Court Sportplex in Fayetteville, North Carolina, and you can get all the information at Tanisha Lewis uh, on Facebook. Uh, it's doable, her organization. Uh, make sure you check that out, and then she's got a place to click on where you can actually give to this uh, to this foundation at uh, GoFundMe.com, and that's right on her Facebook page. So, Tanisha, always awesome being with you. I look forward to being with you here soon uh, on our sold out program. And uh, good luck with uh, with the with the program of supporting KYO because it's a great cause. I appreciate you coming in. We'll look forward to visiting with you soon. Now.